Thank you for joining me on this video where I interview intermittent fasting foodies, Jackie Moravic, where she talks about the results and benefits that she's gotten from fasting starting from day one. Have you ever fasted or know someone who has? Tell us a story in the comments below. We would love to hear the story of the results and benefits that you've gotten from fasting. And now, on to the video. For those who don't know you, talk about who you are. Okay. And and how you discovered fasting. Okay, so my name's Jackie, Jackie Moravic, and I, my entire adult life, I basically have dieted, and ever since I had children, so I was in a constant state of yo-yo dieting, and really kind of got sick of it, but every time I would say, basically, screw it, I don't want to diet anymore, I'd gain weight back and then I'd get sick of that. And I'd say, screw it. I'm going to diet. I guess that's what I have to do. And it was just no balance. It was one or the other. And that was a heavy mental load to carry on top of like, just not feeling good about yourself. And, um, I found fasting through my church. Actually, we, every year would start the year with a spiritual fast and I did intermittent fasting one year as, as my fast of choice. And I was actually, so it had nothing to do with weight loss. I actually didn't lose weight. Um, but I was very surprised how easily I ended up adapting to eat, not eating most of the day. It was kind of eye opening, And I just kind of stored that information in the back of my head, like, Oh, well, that, yeah. maybe that'll be good to know someday, I guess. And then during 2020, I gained some weight with the pandemic cooking, baking a lot more. And yeah. I, I, <laughs> I told my friend, um, I think I'm going to try intermittent fasting. Cause I've heard of it as a weight loss tool since I tried it through my church and she ended up being interested with me. And she found the book fast feast repeat. I don't know if you're familiar with that book. Um, no. and she, she suggested it to me. Um, I have it right here. If you want to see it. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. So she suggested this book to me, Fast Feast Repeat by Jen Stevens. Okay. And she said, I think you're going to like this. I think it will help you get into fasting because I like data. I like to understand things and um, I'm not the best at regurgitating it to someone, but if I okay. understand and I believe in it, it helps me to, you know, just feel like solid, like, okay, let's go, let's do this. And so I read the book and I never looked back. I became pretty obsessed with fasting because instantly I don't diet within my fast at all. And so instantly I just felt the weight lifted of, should I eat this? Should I not? Can I eat this? Or is it too buttery? Is it too fat, too much fat? Is it, you know, am I going to hate it? Am I sick of eating the same thing? I, the, the diet mentality was broken and I, it was very easy for me to say, I'm either eating or I'm not and then move on like this huge mental weight lifted. And that feeling was very easy for me to be like, okay, I can do this every day for the rest of my life. And yeah. I, that was, um, end of June of 2020. And I've been fasting ever since. That is awesome. Yeah. That is very cool. It's, it's wonderful to hear your story. It's really inspirational, especially oh, thank you. The, the benefits and results that you get from that too. Mm-hmm. Oh, a lot of people they definitely want to, to, to see and hear more about that and uh and you say you've been doing it ever since so it's it's yeah. staying with you oh yeah and I, I I mean I've dieted so many times in my life if I was sick of fasting I would have quit by now <laughs> because that's how I any other diet I did you you hit the burnout stage and it's like okay enough of that I need to enjoy life again but I feel so good and I absolutely love love my eating window so much every day that it doesn't feel sacrificial because I get to enjoy the food every day. I would like to hear from your, your uh, perspective because yeah. I've been talking with multiple doctors, but you're yeah. the first person uh, outside of them that I've interviewed. I would love okay. to hear. So uh, what is fasting? How do you describe that? Fasting, I think can be um, applied so many different ways. And my basic definition that I would give someone really looking into it for the first time is you have a period where you eat and then you have another period where you don't eat and it's cyclical. So mm -hmm. it's very defined. You are either consuming items or you're not. And when you're not, that is fasting. And, um, I think for, 
health and weight loss benefits, your fasting period has to be much longer than your eating period. Right. So <laughs> that is a very basic definition that I would give of fasting. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good. I think that's the best way to go about it when you, especially when you're, you're talking to people who are not as interested, but, you know, they're curious about, you know, your experiences. Mm -hmm. How was your first fast? Uh, do you remember, like, how, like, what, what were you, were you, were you experiencing? Well, I feel days? the first few days, I have a personality where I'm kind of headstrong. So I was so excited because I was reading, I read the book and I felt like the possibility was there that like, this is the answer. Okay. And my friend was so enthused. So she had pumped me up too. Um, yeah. I made sure I was extremely busy. I remember taking my son to the park, like for hours when I would normally be eating so that we were busy <laughs> okay. and we were out. I drank a lot of coffee and I've always liked black coffee. So that was a huge benefit to me. And I had my black coffee, I had my ice water. And I know that I remember less about the fast, but I remember the eating window. I was kind of like a vacuum, my first few eating windows, where as soon as I was done with the fast, it was like, okay, whatever's in front of me, I'm eating. And people worry about that when they start fasting, but it goes away. I promise you that that need to eat anything in front of you when you first open your eating window. I, I honestly just felt like, okay, whatever it is, like I was excited to eat again. Um, yeah. But my first few fasts, it was a lot of distraction and a lot of coffee to get through them. <laughs> <laughs> but what is it like now uh, when you fast versus compared to when you first started? Yeah, so now um, I, I know it's really hard to imagine if you're considering fasting, but it's really easy. I have a routine. I drink lots of water. I still drink a lot of coffee. Um, but I, I don't think of food. I have three children. I prepare food for them. I still make breakfast. I still make lunch and I don't worry, or I, I don't want the peanut butter and jelly sandwich or the banana peanut butter toast I make in the morning. It doesn't even tempt me anymore. I don't, I have very few days, I should say, where it's very hard for me to get through the fast because it's so second nature. It is my lifestyle now. So I know I, I personally eat dinner. So that is the meal I eat every day. Um, I know I'm going to have a dinner that I like, that I'll get to enjoy, that I'll enjoy in whatever capacity I want. So it's not hard for me anymore to get to that point. It's, yeah. it is, it's just what my lifestyle is. So it's, it's no longer like I, as soon as I'm able to eat, I eat everything because I, my body's adapted. And right. I, I think most people find that once you adapt, it really, it's just, you know, you were used to eating three meals a day. Once you're not used to that anymore, you're going to be used to fasting. And then it's just like breathing second nature. <laughs> exactly. And it's quite liberating when you get to the point of yeah. real life. Oh, 12 o'clock. I have to have lunch. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're 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 a bit beyond that now, and it's yep. like anytime you feel like you actually may need to, you just kind of it makes it easier to also to evaluate your body. Exactly, what's going on inside of you. So I I totally get what you mean. What benefits and results have you seen from fasting? Okay, so the first benefit and why I came to it is I was in an overweight category and within the first five months, I quickly lost between 30 and 35 pounds. Um, and that has stayed off. So I've, I lost it and I have been able to maintain it. It's almost coming up on a, it's a little over a year and a half that I've been able to maintain a weight loss. And then, but that's like, for me, baseline, like that happened. And that's, I'm really grateful that I lost the weight, but the best part about it to me is I am no longer obsessed with food. So I don't think of, and it, I feel like people, if you don't, if you don't, if you've never dieted and had the obsessive thoughts, it just sounds crazy, but I was always thinking like, okay, can I eat that? Should I eat that? Did I have enough? Did I have too much? regretting what I ate, regretting mm -hmm. that I didn't eat something because I was trying to be good. Those thoughts consumed every day. It was either regret or enjoying something in the moment and wishing that I hadn't later. And I don't have that mental weight of dieting or shame that like with what I consumed anymore. And so I've very much appreciated 
that I don't have those, the mental burden of that anymore. I made notes, so I don't forget. Um, I, when I was 24, I was diagnosed with a non-alcoholic fatty liver. And since fasting, my blood work no longer shows a fatty liver. So that has been really great. So the visceral fat around my liver is gone. <laughs> And awesome. that's amazing. And um, when I was diagnosed with the fatty liver, I wasn't overweight. I was young and I had never been a drinker, but I, yeah. nothing else changed in my lifestyle. I, it has, I, I imagine it has to be from fasting. My primary care physician also attributes it to fasting. So, um, yeah, so it definitely corresponds with some oh, yeah. of other doctors say as well. So yes, it's I'm definitely with- one of the, the known benefits. Um, so I was very pleased and that's a huge burden, you know, fatty liver can be awful and have lots of health risks with it. So, um, then let me see. Oh, this one is kind of gross, but I had a toenail fungus. I'm both of my, my big toes for over a decade. I couldn't get rid of it. And I was told it basically is from painting your nails and it not getting enough sunlight within mm-hmm. five months of fasting. It's gone and it's never come back. And I had that for over 10 years, my entire wow. adult life. So that went away. Um, my eyesight improved. I went to the same eye doctor for eight years, had the same eyesight after fasting. I went in and my eyesight improved, which doesn't happen at 33. I'm like, are you sure? And then he, the um, doctor said, you know, I see this a lot, even with diabetic patients, once, once they get their insulin under control, their eyesight improves. And so he wasn't even surprised that my eyesight improved. I had, I've worn glasses since I was nine and I had a really large glasses collection. So I was really bummed that my eyesight improved because all of my glasses no longer work. So instead of replacing them, I went and had LASIK. So I did that. Then my eyesight really improved and I sleep better. And overall, I just feel better every single day. But how has your family responded and reacted to your fasting journey, you know, from the beginning up until yeah. now? So my husband, I'm, I'm an experimenter. So he's been with me through diets and all, all of the other things that I've tried in the past. And I think he, he sure. just kind of thought, okay, Jackie's trying something new. We'll see how long it lasts. <laughs> and he didn't say that if he's always been supportive, um, but I think he, I know he's surprised that it stuck around and then I have three children, as I mentioned. Um, and at first it was weird for them, me kind of explaining I'm not eating now. And I just explained to them, I'm an adult. I don't need to grow anymore. You guys are growing children. You need to eat throughout the day. Your bodies are constantly growing and I'm not. And I think explaining it that way really made them think, oh yeah, mom, mom's not going to keep growing and getting taller. She, adults don't do that. And so I think that helped them to understand. And now, you know, over two years later, my kids will say to me, is your window open? And I'll say no. And then they, whatever, whatever they were thinking, it just goes on. It's second nature. It's not weird to them. And one thing that's really important to me as a mom is I have two tween daughters. They're 10 and 12. So they're, they're getting into the, the body image consciousness and of course I'll want this for my son, but he's five. He's, you know, he's in his own, own world right now, right. <laughs> but my daughters, you know, in middle school, I don't want them to think, oh, mom says brownies are bad, or we don't do this. They see me enjoying food every day. They see me delighting and eating and, and being very considerate of what I'm eating and when, when I'm eating, but I'm not labeling this is bad. This is good. Can't have this. I think them seeing me take care of myself and pursue health through fasting, but also enjoying food as not just nourishment, but also as a celebration and a a fun part of life is going to help them to not have issues. And they, they don't see it as weird mom fasts and that's what it is. So, and I, I think back to like all of the diets I've done. And then I think of fasting and which one I'd rather my girls model someday as as adults, well, I really hope they don't go down the diet path, but I wouldn't feel ashamed if they started fasting. So to me, there's like a huge difference in what I'm modeling to them as a mom. That makes sense. And I appreciate that you're teaching them about these things. And the the cool thing about them asking, you know, is your window open? It lets you know how receptive they are to everything 
telling them too. Right. And how, and I'm, I'm thinking like, I don't want to be negative on a certain diet, but if they said how many calories was in that at the same, like the same idea of, is your window open? I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't like that. You know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd be like, Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah. I feel like it's, it's behaviors that if they're receptive and they're picking it up that I feel, I feel um, good about show, sharing with them. It makes sense. I appreciate that. <laughs> So uh, for any, well, you did mention the book, but for anyone looking to learn more about fasting, what resources do you suggest and what helped you out? I love Dr. Fung. I know you, it sounds like you interviewed him. I think he has a wonderful YouTube channel, a wonderful website. I have multiple books of his. Um, and I think getting into a community of fasters is really, really important. So um, I have my YouTube channel. I think whether it's a YouTube community, Facebook communities, I think it's really important, or if you're lucky enough to have someone in your own life that um, fasts regularly, to have people that understand that you can ask questions to, that you can, you know, I if, if you're facing something like a new medication or you're like dealing with a symptom of fasting, like I have really bad keto breath sometimes like, Hey, how do you deal with this? I, I don't like this part of fasting, or I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can adjust my schedule. Having other people that fast is really going to be a benefit to your, to your journey. So I think whether online or in person collaborating with other fasters is important. I love Jen Stevens books. And then also Dr. Michael Mosley. I've read multiple of his books, okay. love him and Dr. Bert Herring. I've read all of his books and love them as well. So those are my resources. Wonderful. And that's awesome. I appreciate that because you also introduced me to some things I haven't uh, read or heard of just okay. yet. So I will definitely be checking those out. Thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for anyone who uh, is thinking about getting started with fasting, what, what <laughs> word of inspiration would you give someone who is considering it? The biggest inspiration that I can tell you is it is not perfection's not required um, I think so many people think of fasting and you think of like I'm going to eat so little and I'm going to restrict what I eat it's it's not required if you think of it as one step forward get used to fasting and you can you can take it as far as you want if you want to change your diet once you're a good faster but it's not required. Anyone can adopt a fasting lifestyle and it's not restrictive. I know it sounds extremely restrictive and even <laughs> myself, yeah. that's what kept me from, from joining for a while is what am I signing up for? I love to eat. How am I going to do this? But there is so much freedom in fasting. You can move your window every single day. You can enjoy any, any event, any celebration. You can go to a wedding, Christmas party and enjoy it and just make that part of your fasting lifestyle. You're able to adapt and change it. It's totally personalized, or you're totally able to personalize it. And because of that, and then the weight of the diet mentality lifted, it really is very freeing. And it's a wonderful lifestyle that you can adapt to pretty much, I feel like any life, any life can find benefit in fasting. And it's not as restrictive as it sounds. That is so <laughs> true, absolutely. But that completes all of the interview questions. I really appreciate all okay. of what you say. And uh, like I said, you introduced me to some new resources. So I got some reading to do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. That's awesome. Yeah.